for those that have not heard, right, as of February 14th, Valentine's Day of all days, uh, AMD and Xilinx uh, became one company. Xilinx was acquired by AMD. So we're proudly, uh, proudly to be uh, part of that organization. Um, but at the same time, you will hear me say Xilinx probably far too many times because I'm still getting adjusted to it. So just bear with me in the, in the midst of that. Um, so we're going to talk about the uh, Korea Robotics Starter Kit. Couple things to note. When we first submitted this, the kit had not been announced. Actually, it was announced at uh, 6 a.m. Pacific time this morning. This is brand new. You're going to be the first audience probably in the world that's actually heard a live presentation on this topic. Now, with that said, it has been a little bit convoluted in terms of hiding something that you're launching for a well-run conference like this because we had to at the last minute change all you know names and change titles and change abstracts so if you think you're in a different presentation than you signed up for or planning to come to uh, let me assure you that is by design not by accident so okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the uh, portfolio so last year we announced the Korea KV260 Vision AI starter kit that's been out for a year. It's been breaking lots of records in terms of new technology adoption for uh, Xilinx and now AMD. Uh, we've got the production K26 SOM module, which is available in both commercial and industrial temper temperature range. But what's new and what we're announcing today is the KR260 robotic starter kit. Now, you'll ask, well, what's different? They look kind of the same. One's red, one's black. What, you know, what, what's different? So first thing I will mention is this slide only highlights two fifths of the announcement. So the starter kit and the SOM are two important things. Obviously, they're very tangible. You hold them in your hand. It's something you actually pay money for. But the other three fifths of the Korea value proposition uh, include apps in the App Store, an embedded software infrastructure, and user-specific tool flow. So we'll get into all that in this presentation. But the concept behind Korea SOMs is you're able to develop using one of the starter kits on the left and take your product to production using the SOM on the right. And we'll get into all that as we go through this.